Oh man, clean your locker day is the worst. Shakes! <laughs> hmm, I suppose my locker is a little untidy. No ways! My adventure annuals! I loved these when I was a kid. Oh, this one's my favorite. About a hundred years ago, a Brazilian businessman named Albert Douglas Ventura took on the most insane football project ever. Building a stadium in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Ooh. But the extreme location made construction a nightmare. His crew bailed on him, but Ventura stuck it out, refusing to abandon his dream. You do know that's totally made up, right? Yeah, of North. course. <laughs> The Lost Stadium is totally real, Shakes. Oh, yeah? And where's Ventura now? He never returned from the jungle. Anacondas, piranhas, panthers! The Amazon is a dangerous place. Brazil has something even more dangerous than all of that. And he's coming to strike a land. Match day at Strikerland! And Super Strikers are struggling to deal with Palmentieri Starman. The Master of Flair. The Samba King. John Aldo! Welcome to the end of the row. Ha! You think you can stop my Samba style? That's cute. When you're as skilled as me, you do as you please. Ha <laughs> The Brazilian maestro has made the league's best defenders look like amateurs. They had no answer for his unpredictable style. North Shore, you'll never stop Donaldo by diving in recklessly. You need to focus on the ball, not the man. Yeah, not the ground either, dude. This isn't good, man. Don Aldo seriously damaged their confidence. That's an understatement. We've got one defender who's playing too aggressively, and another who isn't playing at all. Come on, Block. Just one tackle, a little one. Please? Please, doggle, doggle, doggle. He says he's fine, as long as his teddy sharing him helps him practice. Those two need a break, a chance to get their heads back in the game. How are we gonna do that and get them to Rio in time for the return leg? I think I have a way. <whistles> North, Block, I'm sending you on a confidence building session in the Amazon before the game. A jungle adventure? At a luxury hotel. What? But it's the Amazon jungle, coach. It's meant to be about danger and excitement, not room service and little tiny shampoo bottles. The hotel has all the facilities and privacy you'll need to focus on stopping Donaldo. And who are we meant to play against? The bellboy? The world's greatest strike force. <gasps> Have I ever told you guys I was a junior wilderness cadet? I promise to use my cadet survival skills to keep us safe in the Amazon. Yeah, Klaus. Maybe you can get your ordering room service badge. Uh, I got that one ages ago. You gotta try to make the most of the situation, dude. Whatever. And here's my Junior Wilderness Cadet Navigation badge, my Campfire badge, my Air Guitar badge, my Mime badge, my Listing Things badge, my Crochet badge, my Life of the Party badge, my Pancake Eating badge, my Growing Up badge, my Not Understanding Social Cues badge. Whoa, 
This is gonna be epic. Glad to see you're making the most of the situation. No point in complaining. Yep. Totally gonna make the most of the situation. Come on out. This jetty has been certified safe by a junior wilderness cadet. Hold up, North. Coach said someone from the hotel was meeting us here. Come on, the place is just around the corner. Besides, we need to start practicing ASAP. Right? Yeah, but... We got our gear, we got the players, all we need is the pitch. Okay, but only if you're sure you know where the hotel is. Don't worry, dude. I know exactly where we're going. Dancing Rasta. That was the hotel. North and the others didn't make their rendezvous. What? They're somewhere in the jungle. You're in charge till I get back. But coach, they're lost in the Amazon. That'll be like trying to find... Uh, some guys lost in the Amazon. Then I'd better get started. Um, what is that stuff? Oh, this? Volcanic ash and... Watermelon. Yeah, I fly some unusual jobs. You're hired. Name's Mara. Where are we headed? North, didn't you say the hotel was right around the corner? Chillax, it's a big corner. Uh, yeah, what is that? I've got the Junior Wilderness Cadet Sound Identification Badge. It's a panther growl, no, 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 no. It's a wind, hmm, perhaps thunder? I've got it, it's a waterfall. <gasps> hang out in some lame hotel when we could go on an epic adventure. <gasps> you didn't. That's right. We're going to find the lost stadium. That's insane. It's some made-up story. It doesn't exist. Um, Shakes? My junior wilderness cadet observation skills tell me that it might. Contact to arrange the pickup somewhere down there. That'll be a fun landing. You sure about this? I got a game to win. on the right path. We're supposed to be training for the Palma game, not going on some crazy treasure hunt. But that's the best part, dude. We can practice in the Lost Stadium. An actual pitch will be so much better than some hotel field. And it's not like we can go back to the way we came. You do know this is the worst plan ever, right? Chill, it's an adventure, dude. <sighs> Well, come on, Mr. Ventura. Lead the way.
Okay, okay, you were right. The Lost Stadium is real. Now come on, let's go do some long overdue training. Much better than some hotel field, eh, North? <sighs> yeah. all over the place. I can't follow it. Uh, oh, great. Stuck in the middle of nowhere and we can't train? Don't worry, guys. I'll use my junior wilderness cadet training to come up with a rescue plan. We'll be out of here in no time at all. We'll never get out of here. And it's all my fault. <sighs> Because I'm a fake! I got all my Junior Wilderness Cadet badges on the internet. Wait, you didn't even have to go outside? Well, I had the window open. It's totally not your fault, Klaus. It's mine. Being dominated by Don Aldo, it, it totally messed me up. But instead of facing up to it, I, I dragged us into some crazy adventure. Put a tracker in Sheringham. I figured he'd be the one thing you wouldn't leave behind. So, did you at least manage to do some training? Pitch is covered with roots. It's too unpredictable. Unpredictable, eh? Get some rest, boys. We train at first light. point of looking good if your friends aren't here to appreciate your awesomeness. I kind of even miss Shake Smelly Socks. <sighs> no. Listen up, guys. If Coach says he's gonna find our brothers, he'll do it. And we gotta do our part by giving Palma the toughest game of their lives. We play our hearts out for the first 45. Keep the score at nil-nil. We can do that, right? Yes! Yeah. Then come on! Let's get out there and do it for our brothers. <laughs> yes. One, yes. two, three, <laughs> Super Striders! Game on! I've never seen Super Strikers use such a defensive formation. Not surprising, considering half their team hasn't shown up. What is Coach thinking? No idea. He's missing too. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? Huh? They don't have to! Dancing Rasta makes 
a brilliant tackle. It's all hands on deck for Super Strikers. Even their most attacking players are helping out in defense. <clears throat> but the question is, how long can they keep it up? <sighs> We're almost at half time. Don't let it slip now. And here comes Paul Mentieri again. This must be the final attack of the half. And for once, Don Aldo makes it past Dancing Rasta. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? <laughs> nope, his movements are just too unpredictable. No! Ecstasy for Paul Mentieri, but agony for Super Strikers. second half is about to start, and we have unconfirmed reports coming in that... Brenda! Could it be? But the way North Shaw and Block played last game, Coach might be better off sticking with the reserves. And the second half is underway. After last game, I thought you two would run off scared. I'm gonna make you wish you had. Now remember, watch the ball, not the man. Coach, we tried this and failed hard. The pitch is too unpredictable. Come on, dude. I know this isn't ideal, but... We've gotta make the most of our situation, right? Unpredictable pitch is the perfect way to prepare for an unpredictable player like Donaldo. But how's it going to help us if we can't get back in time for the game? Don't worry about that. Our ride is almost here. But before we leave, I want to try one more drill. I've seen what the defenders have learned. Now it's the forward's turn. <laughs> with you, Coach. Actually, I've got one more job for you. This is how to soak away those aches and pains. Yeah, I think I just earned my ultimate relaxation badge. <laughs> Guys, come look at this. Remember when North said Alberto Ventura never made it out of the jungle? Yeah. That's because he spent the rest of his life chilling in this hotel. <laughs> it's just as well North isn't here to see this. I still don't get why he'd want to miss out on some mega relaxation. North hmm? hates this stuff, remember? So I gave him another chance to take on nature. Two nil to 
super strike is, and Big Bo's had nothing to do all game. Oh! Ah! Ah! Nakata are in super striker's box! Woo! Ah, nothing to get excited about, Brenda. Block is there. But if he doesn't get this tackle right, it's a penalty for sure. Huh? No problem for the big man. Block's the cleanest tackler in the Super League. You rock, Block! A turbo! Yeah! Right on, right. man! Listen up, guys. The Robotics and Football Exhibition is coming up next week. Prof? Oh, uh, well, we thought we'd do something special this year, so I've made a robot. Of one of you. Huh? Hmm? Ah, must be Cool Joe. He does <laughs> the best robot. <laughs> it must be me. Why replicate anyone less good looking than the great hmm. El Matador? Introducing Roblox. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Wow! Unbelievable. I need your clothes, your boots, and your shin guards. Tony, why does this tin can get to travel with the team? Cause, unlike you lot, Chip T. Chuckerson is going to win me a prize. The game? Against Super Strikers? Oh. The other difference between Chip and you lot is he can actually learn things. Copy movie star. I need your clothes, your boots, and your shin guards. Um, I don't understand, Tony. He's gonna win me the robotics and football exhibit. Iron Tank are already the perfect robots. Ow! No foul, player. No foul. And the Robotics in Football Grand, Grand Prize goes, goes to... to... Yes? Yes? Roblox! What? Block, hmm? a quick interview, perhaps? I can translate if you want. Been learning Brazilian. Tell me about your robot twin. <laughs> Physically, Roblox is a perfect copy of me. How could they give the award to the robotic dimwit? He's just a mindless replica. So, how's his football? I don't know. Prof says playing against Roblox would be extremely dangerous because he's all steel and hydraulics. Oh, really? So what will he be doing at Strikerland? Welcome to Strikerland, home of the Super League's greatest team. Ah, a tour guide. So, who do you predict will win this weekend? Super Strikers or Technicali? I predict Super Strikers will prevail in our next game. Nice. Block? Super Block, Victor Bluger. Um, I'm only halfway through the Brislovian course. Uh, but if you ask me, Lena, I just need to score one goal, and Block will take care of the rest. Not if I take care of Block first. Copy. Block. Roger, sir. <laughs> Roger, sir. <laughs> now, if I could just figure out how to get your processor into that lumbering pile of nuts and bolts. Stop! First law of robotics, no water. Water will make you malfunction. You have given me an idea. Technology from previous inventions. For example, I used the analytical algorithm from the magic of Roblox eyes. Water! Get Roblox out of here! Go! Go, Chip! Go!
doll exhibit has been locked down with all robots inside. No, no, no! There was so much he still had to see to do. Shuh, that was one awesome robot block, Prof. In hindsight, it would have been difficult to make a robot as good looking as me. This sucks. Schmeigel Fleur. Clear all robot parts. Send those tin cans to the scrapyard. Yes, it worked. And by the time Super Strikers realize they're playing with a robot, half the team will be injured. <laughs> Let's put the robotics exhibit behind us, okay? I don't want it affecting our performance against Technicali. Now, get to it. El Matador? Uh... My preparation will be purely mental, Coach. Reminding myself how awesomely amazing I am. <sighs> hey, Block. I reckon the best practice I can get is against the world's best defender. You. you seem different. I think I'll do some training where I won't end up in hospital. Oh! These super strikers are too fast and skilled to be injured by Roblox. Hmm? But my players aren't. John J. Johnson Jr. Hi, Tony! I've come up with a strategy for you. Great. Let's hear it. Dribbling. Ah, uh, again? I thought the doctor cleared that up. He means dribbling a soccer ball. I want you to dribble straight at block, John J. Johnson, Jr. Isn't that kind of risky? With Roblox on the pitch, there'll be cards for Super Strikers and penalty kicks for Technicali. <sighs> I am Roblox, the robot block. The true legend is over there. Danger! 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 <laughs> Welcome to Striker Land, home of the Super League Trophy. Let's begin our tour. Circle. Okay, boys, let's call it for today. Be the block. What's up with you? You seem different. Hey, block. You coming? Surely, lad. Something's up with block. He's playing weird, speaking weird. Shaw shakes, dude. It's not like you're an authority on Breslovian. Yeah, brother. Aren't you still learning? <laughs> Cassette tape? Yeah, latest technology in Breslovia. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Huh? Weird. Where are six to nine? Are you ready for the final level of learned Breslovian? Here we go. Rarl clad Zuzangle crad Rarl clad Zuzangle crad Blukjaraz Burko. Got it. Huh. If my Breslovian isn't dodgy, then what's up with Block? Next up, Zorg Lang the Zirkle Barkle. Oh! Tapes! One of our main values at Striker Land is determination. It's much day and fight. No matter where you are, whatever you're doing, it's a fantastic. 
interesting day for a bit of football. Super strikers have been looking good, but Chuck T. Chipperson is in great form. Clock will need to be on top of his game, Mac. I'm sure he will be when the... He's so reliable. Always there when super strikers need him. Block. We need to talk. Purgle. Zergle Purple Gerb? The rather Grinlock, the Colonel for Boomba. He says he's been under a lot of pressure lately. Wow, Chicks, your Brislovian has really improved. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Block! I know something's wrong. Your game, your Brislovian, it's like you're a different person. Kirk's a blogger, grab the goal. Excuse me? Kirk's a blogger, grab the goal. You took my tapes. But why would you need to learn Brislovian? <laughs> because you're not Block. You're Roblox. You can't go out there. You, you can't play. You'll hurt people. Roblox, listen to me. <laughs> Please remember to look after your belongings during the tour. And last out, last week's man of the match. He's a machine, Brenda. Well, where's Shake? I thought we had a first choice 11 on both sides. Klaus, warm up. Eagle Eye, Grizz, get Shakes. Oh, uh, what's the strategy again? Uh, you run straight at block. Oh, right. You'd think Technicali would at least send their number one striker to do business with Block. <laughs> wow, so unlike Block. Yes! <laughs> I mean, what was that? Whatever happened to fair play? Keep it tidy, Block. Another one, and the card's coming out. Shakes! Shakes! I don't get it. Where did he go? Room. It's down the stairs, first left, second right, immediate right, and straight ahead. <laughs> Next up, the Strike Lounge Ball. Isn't it total luxury? <laughs> well, folks, all good things must come to an end. for the final part of our exciting tour. And it gets worse the big defender. Penalty huh? to Technicali. Block best clean up his act soon or he'll be sent off. Fasten your seatbelts because the final stop on our tour is the Strikerland Garage. Yeah. 
Technical Eagle one ahead. All thanks to a surprisingly poor performance from Block. Who would have thought? First a missing striker. Now a defender whose brain's gone missing? North. Uh, uh Shakes? Don't let anyone know I've been here. That's not Block. It's Roblox. Yeah, and I always take advice from dudes hiding in lockers. He put me in here. He finds out you're onto him and you're next. You need to get him out of here. Block, what is wrong with you? Big the blogger, grab the goo. Oh, I know this one. Block's uh, hitting the showers. Right, Block? Since when do you speak Breslovian? I've been taking night classes. That isn't block. It's Roblox. Hmm. Yeah, right. The dangerous tackling, weird Brislovian, cold, steely demeanor. Well, we're about to find out if I'm right. Why is that, Shakes? Robots don't take showers. <laughs> So if that's Roblox, where's Blow? <laughs> Super Strikers drive only the coolest vehicles. Well, there's our tour guide. Someone switched the robot's processors. Shakes, you were right, dude. But where is Block? <laughs> He says we've got to go on for the second half, or we'll forfeit the game. Muggle Blah. Don't worry, he's got this. Can't wait for him any longer. Huh? They didn't sub him? Looks like your work isn't done, John J. Johnson Jr. Uh, block! You did it! Uh, I think. The second half is about to start, and Super Strikers have a lot of work to do. Well, Coach should have started by subbing Block. He's the reason they're losing. Woo! Block's gonna finish John J. Johnson Jr. once and for all! And get what he deserves, a red card. It's vintage block. Smooth, slick, and effective. Oh, I'm too clever. My invention has learned to play like the best defender in the league. <laughs> Sorry, Tony, you're wrong. No one can play like the block. Logo Zero! Logo Blow Zero! No, no, no! History. Nice one, brother! Block, you did it! And where is your very scary thrill? 
but how could a problem? So I'm hanging from Strike the Land, Roblox about to ditch me, when suddenly I remember something. How could we not block? My new robot friend. And now for the final part of our tour. Ta-da! Uh, uh, be the fly with the clothes. Smaggle flirt. Copy. Probably. Eh, I think Prof should just make a robot that looks like me next time. But how do we know we aren't all robots already? Oh! Hi, guys. Welcome to another Orion fan report, live from the soccer sphere. We have some pretty tough games coming up. First, Invincible United, then Super Strikers. But as always, in Coach Black we trust. What? What is that? There's been an alien fighting at a soccer stadium. A close encounter of the first kind. But is it legitimate? Impossible to tell. We need a man on the ground. Anyone know anything about football? Uh... That's the one with the ball, right? I've already identified the perfect candidate. He knows soccer. He has access to the stadium. And most importantly, he's a believer. Klaus, prepare to make contact. We've just witnessed the upset of the season, boys. Orion anticipated Invincible United's every move, predicted their every strategy, and dominated the scoreline. I know how they did it. Coach Black has been getting help from aliens. This again? Klaus. I've watched this clip like 20 times. I'm telling you guys, it's real. There's no such thing as aliens. Those videos are just CGI. <laughs> Klaus has been spending way too much time on the bench, coach. If it isn't aliens, how did Orion know Invincible United's entire game plan? Coach Black obviously studied their previous games and learned their strategies. But what if he's done the same to us, coach? Don't worry. I've developed two all-new, never-before-seen moves. It's of the utmost importance that we keep them top secret. That means no talking about them. I don't even want you to think about them. Because the aliens can read our brainwaves, right? Focus on these moves, not UFO sightings. Got it? Got it, coach. You'd think it was match day at the soccer sphere, but actually, Orion Stadium is now the world's newest alien sightings hotspot. Take me home, E.T. They live amongst us, man. The lights! They're coming for us! I'm now joined by Orion manager Coach Black, live from his observatory on top of the soccer sphere. Coach Black, what do you make of these so-called UFO sightings? <laughs> the lights are merely a beautiful cosmic ray shower. Huh. I bet his alien overlords told him to say that. Turn that thing off already. El Matador must go betty by. Your side destroyed Invincible United last week. Some people claim you were helped by, you know, these, these... Aliens? <laughs> that is priceless. <laughs> but seriously, my secret is just a thorough preparation. Well, it seems like the sky is the limit for Orion. As for the UFOs, I'll leave that to the experts. The truth is totally out there, man. The lights! They're still coming for us! Why wouldn't they come to Earth? Huh? Who are you? We're a top secret organization of specialists. We search for and monitor alien activity on Earth. We're the first, second, middle, second last, and only line of defense. We are the National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division. Oh, oh, oh. Ow! Ah. Ah. He always does this! The attention! 
intention was for this to remain a clandestine operation, you dope! Sorry, guys. If it makes you feel any better, you put on a great show. Now, what do you guys want? We know you've been watching the lights of Orion footage. Of course. It's the most conclusive proof we are not alone. We're looking for someone who can find out the truth about the lights. Someone with access to the soccer sphere? We're looking for someone like you, Klaus. What? Me? An alien hunter? Ah, oh, I can't. What? what? Why not? We've got a big game coming up. I need to concentrate on our new... <gasps> not meant to talk about them. <gasps> not even meant to think about them. Sorry, I'm not your guy. <gasps> I knew it! Cop circles! I told you guys there were aliens here. Oh, please! There is a perfectly rational explanation for this. Yep. I made them. Huh? <gasps> no wonder you wanted me to keep quiet about the aliens. You're one of them. There's no way I was going to teach you the top secret. You know what? Then practice them at Orion's home stadium the day before the game. So I created the most private training facility in town. <gasps> this is the last time you're going to see these moves. So pay attention. No peeking, defenders. Hmm? We're going to test these moves on you guys. Move one uses the overlap to find space behind the defense. Ain't getting past us, bro. I know, but El Matador will. Move two uses pace and passing to break through the opposition defense. <laughs> nice work, boys. You get all that? I may need you out there tomorrow. Yes, coach. There's no way Orion will see these moves coming. Haven't you watched that video enough? Beauty sleep required. Where is your rational explanation for this, El Matador? Ah, uh, that is just uh, Orion testing their floodlights. Floodlights coming from the sky? Well, it still makes more sense than aliens. You're so sure about it, let's go find out. Reports are streaming in. It's happening again. That's not all. Klaus is on the move, heading right for the stadium. Ha! I knew he couldn't resist the search for the truth. Wait, we're tracking Klaus? <gasps> you guys never tell me anything. Yeah, that's because you tell your mom all our secret information. No, I don't. Hmm. Klaus seems to have activated the camera on his Digitab. I should be able to access the feed. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Mom! You gotta see this! Oh, Super League legends, sneaking around like grave robbers. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Klaus? Huh? Am I dreaming? Only if you are dreaming about how right I was. Hey, is it just me, 
Or are these lights following a pattern? There was a pattern, yeah? Definitely a sign of intelligent life. Take on the mighty Super Strikers. Here at the Soccer Sphere, it's come one, come all for alien enthusiasts. Although someone needs to tell them they're here to watch the football, not the skies. One man who will definitely be keeping his eyes on the game is Orion's coach, Black, still in his observatory. Yes, Lina. From up here, I have a perfect view of the galaxy and what's happening on the pitch. Hmm. The lights, <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> they take your brain waves. Wow, I didn't know crazy was contagious. What's gotten into you, El Matador? What? There's something inside me? Ah, oh, they laid their alien eggs inside of me. Oh, get them out, get them out. <laughs> Tell me, Klaus, where do you think El Matador got all these crazy ideas? You got to listen to me. The lights, they were... Say lights one more time. I dare you. As for you, I don't care if an alien invited you to a tea party. You're in the starting lineup. <laughs> Super Strikers may be in good form, but they've never played against a team receiving help from out there. Oh, Mac, not you too. <laughs> I'm just getting into the spirit of things, Brenda. Super Strikers attack and attack. But Orion are way ahead of them. Almost as if they're getting help from... Don't you say it, Mac. Move one. Daring pass from Dancing Rasta. They obviously practiced that one in training. But Twisting Tigers run straight into a dead end. Oh, no, he hasn't. Ha -ha! Brilliant deception from Super Strikers. Wow. Heads up! <laughs> no way! Once again, Orion are just too good. How did Maida know? Last chance of the first half. Come on, dude. It's up to us. Okay, let's do it, Shakes. Huh? Ah! <laughs> <gasps> They're here! Aliens! <laughs> El Matador's certainly keen to get back to the locker room. Maybe he needs the toilet. <laughs> Phew! That was a close one. Huh? Coach! You can sub me, drop me from the team, make me wash everyone's dirty socks, but you have to listen to me about the lights. Ugh. Fine. You have my attention. 
the lights I saw last night for tracing out the exact patterns of our secret moves. Even if I did believe you, how can you prove this? I recorded it all on my Digitab last night. But I dropped it. Face it, Klaus. You don't have proof because there's no such thing as aliens. <sighs> The truth is in here. What is this? National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division at your service. And we are the nerd. Really? What are you guys doing here? We've been trying to contact you, man. Uh, last night in the cornfield? That was you? You scared the pants off me. Why did you dress like that? Uh, why wouldn't we dress like this? There's something you all need to see. Klaus, we accessed the video you recorded on your Digitab last night. Well, I never. Klaus is right. Those lights are following the exact patterns of our moves. And check this out. Beta? So that's how Orion knew our first secret move. But where are the lights coming from? Please don't say aliens. The truth is actually up there. It's finished! Strikers, you can try any secret move you want, but you won't stand a chance against Orion. Because I have reached new heights of football excellence! <laughs> In space, no one can hear you laugh. So where's Coach Black? <coughs> Observe. He was up in space the whole time. After surveilling your moves from his space station, he traced them out with the lights, teaching his players how to counter them. And the UFO hysteria was the perfect cover-up. I knew there was something weird about those interviews. <laughs> <sighs> Klaus, you have great intuition, both on and off the pitch. I should have trusted you more. Uh, sorry to ruin the moment, but how's knowing this gonna help us in the second half? Yeah, we only have one move left, and you know the cat's out of the bag on that one. Well, Coach Black doesn't know that we are onto him. What are you thinking, Klaus? I have an idea for another new move. With the score still deadlocked, Coach is making his first substitution. Strange decision. Klaus hasn't been on the first team for ages. Ah, hello, Mr. Snooper Striker. You were terrified of the lights last night, but you're about to find out how scary they really are. <laughs> Move to brothers. Come on. <laughs> Just as expected. <laughs> I hope you're watching. Shakes to Twisting Tiger. Back to Shakes. Another failure. Orion saw the danger a mile away. Nowhere to go, Shakes. <laughs> huh? But Orion have left Klaus open in the middle. That's not move two. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus! Oh.
believe her, Brenda. No comment. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Wait, that means Super Strikers won, right? No idea. Yes! They won! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta call my mom! Yeah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> How did they do it? I hate them! I hate them! I... Self-destruct oh! mechanism activated. No! Yes, you have 20 seconds to enter the escape pod. Stupid ship! You have 10 seconds to enter the escape pod. <laughs> Already came true. We won. Wild scenes at Strikerland as the Grim FC two of us rock and rolls into town. Part of their entourage, a terrifying new move that no goalkeeper has been able to save. The Ghost Train. Let's find out more. Coach Belmont, how did you come up with the Ghost Train? I didn't. Every coach in Grimm's long history has stored their football knowledge in an ancient, powerful book. Someone, please close that window. Sorry! Uh, whatever. So over the top. The ghost train does sound kind of... Don't say it, dude. Scary. Huh? Why? Really? Uh, aren't we going to need a goalie to stop the ghost train? Yeah, why does Big Bo get time off before the game? Big Bo is doing top secret preparation for the ghost train. He's our last line of defense against them. <laughs> Strikers have a personal significance for Grim FC? Big Bo did accidentally injure your legendary striker, Spike Dawson. Not at all. Spike Dawson was a great player, but his spitefulness tainted the good name of this club. I'm glad to say we've seen the last of him. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think. My beautiful trophies. But my collection is incomplete. Not for long, though. Soon I will end Big Bo's career, just like he ended mine! And claim his gloves as my final trophy! Spike! I baked you some strudel! Mother! Don't interrupt me while I'm plotting revenge! Don't you backchat me, young man! Sorry, Mom. Planning to leave the goalie cave anytime soon, sir? It's getting musty in here. All worth it, Albert. I'm beginning to understand how Grimm's new move works. They stay in a very tight formation to hide the position of the ball. The keeper doesn't know where the shot is coming from. My positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on to stand any chance against the ghost train. And how do you plan to achieve that, sir? The quad cannons. Ah! 
Ha! I told Grim FC they'd be nothing without me. <laughs> Especially after I steal their precious Tactonomicon! Now, to pay Big Bo a visit. Huh? <laughs> Mom! I'm stuck! Don't worry, dearie. I'll get this fruit of grapes. We'll get you out of there in no time. Activate quad cannons. Quad cannons activated. Yes, yes, I heard you the first 30 times. Would you like to buy some strudel, dearie? Hmm, delicious. Come inside. I can't resist a good strudel. Why, thank you. Dearie. an authorized quad cannon technician. Ah, my beautiful trophy. <laughs> this revenge thing is getting really old, Spike. I won't stop until End I... End my career just like I ended yours. Like I said, old. But I'm not injured. Your plan failed. Ha! Ah, that's what you think. But you're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo. Huh? Oh. Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you help me, please? I'm terribly sorry, sir. That old woman lured me in with lies and delicious strudel. That wasn't an old woman. It was Spike Dawson. Spike Dawson? After all this time, what are we going to do about him? Nothing for now. I need to rest up for the game against Grimm. Are you done playing with your friend, Spike? Sworn enemy, Mother! Big Bo is my sworn enemy! And the game I'm playing is only just beginning. <laughs> Super League Disciplinary Board. I have information regarding the theft of the Tectonomicon. Morning, sir. Sleep well? Yep. I'm ready to bring the ghost train screeching to a halt. Don't buy any strudel, okay? Very funny, sir. I'm Agent 1. I'm Agent 2. From, From the, the Super, Super League, League Disciplinary Board. I don't have a number yet, but if I help crack the case, I can totally earn one! Read your agent rulebook, rookie. Rule 4.73, a Super League agent always remains calm. It keeps your mind clear and makes you look extra cool at all times. Uh, how exactly can I help you gentlemen? We got a tip off that Big Bo was involved in the theft of the Tactonomicon. You're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo. Spike wasn't trying to injure me. He was trying to frame me. Mind if we take a look around? Hmm. Um, what 
makes you think Big Bo was involved in this crime? We got an anonymous tip. Besides, with Big Bo facing the ghost train, no one would have more to gain from stealing the book. I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! Protocol, Junior. Rule 1.7. A Super League agent never smiles. There's some kind of grease on here. Same stuff we found on Grimm's bus. Big Bo is now our prime suspect. <laughs> I want Striker Land secured immediately. Spike must have planted the Tactonomicon here last night. He's trying to get me banned for life. So, what are we going to do about it? Clearing my name would be good, but duty calls. The game, sir? At the risk of stating the obvious, there's nowhere to hide on a football pitch. Hmm, maybe I don't have to. Here we go. The Super League agent's rulebook. I have a plan that'll let me play the game, stop the ghost train, and prove Spike framed me. Sounds easy enough, sir. Match night at Strikerland. And the terrifying Grim fans descend on the stadium. But they're nothing compared to the team itself. <laughs> but by far the weirdest thing tonight is Super Strikers are starting with their number two goalie, Noah Murdoch. If any goalie can stop the ghost train, surely it's Big Bo. <laughs> Here that, Brenda. Chuck -a -chuck -a -chuck -a -chuck -a -do -do. Here comes the ghost train. Where's the ball? No idea, dude. Throw the ball. Super strikers are gonna need a bigger goalie. Hold it. We're looking for someone matching your description. Never mind. Move along, kids. I'm so sorry, guys. I let you down. Don't worry, dude. No one's been able to stop the ghost train so far. <gasps> Big Bo? Where have you been, man? Well, Spike framed me for stealing the Tactonomicon, and now I'm kind of on the run from the SLDB. Huh? I hate to be Captain Insensitive, but did you find a way to stop the ghost train, Big Bo? Don't worry, guys. I know all the angles. Wait a second. If you can stop the ghost train, it'll totally seem like you stole the Tactonomicon. It is gonna look weird, man. Have you thought about, you know, missing the save on purpose? Yeah, some things are more important than football. Mm. Or not. I won't let Spike Dawson win. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna stop the ghost train. How are you even gonna get on the pitch? This place is crawling with Super League agents. With a bit of luck and a bit of help from the Super League rulebook. The good news for Super Strikers fans is that the hapless Noah Murdoch has been taken off. And the uh, bad news, Mac, is that they haven't replaced him. Super Strikers are starting the second half without a goalkeeper. Big Bo, stop right there. Rule 54.72, know the suspect. You put your whole career at risk just to learn how to stop the ghost train. There's no way you'd miss this game. You you guys got it all wrong. I didn't steal the Tactonomicon. I was framed by Spike Dawson. Give yourself up, Big Bo. You've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I don't need to hide. Rule 7.94. Ah, don't tell me. I know this one. <laughs> no Super League agents are allowed on the field during game time. <laughs> Big Bo appears under the crowd. 
food, but Vladimir Savage already has his eye on gold. slipped through our fingers. I want him apprehended the moment the final whistle blows. Affirmative. 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 With Big Bo back on the pitch, do Super Strikers have a chance against Grimm? We're about to find out, Brenda. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, guys. Big Bo risked everything for this team. Let's make it worth his while. Affirmative. It's a goal. This is an outrage. Big Bo's a cheat. The name Spike Dawson ring any bells? Big Bo claimed he set him up. Bah! Ridiculous. Spike Dawson's ancient history. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, what's that? You're on the run from the law? Oh, I'll just let myself in then. Oh, I've waited so long for this moment. With Big Bo out the way, I can finally collect my trophy. What? No, no! This can't be! Grim FC on the attack oh. again. But this time, the mighty Big Bo stands between them and the goal. Huh? He's playing? Those gloves will be mine! <laughs> so far, so good. It's all up to you now, sir. Big Bo helped his team level the scores! But his real challenge is about to begin! <laughs> the Ghost Train! Can't believe I'm saying this, but kind of hope Big Bo misses. I know what you mean, man. Affirmative. You really need some new lines, son. Affirmative. Strudel? <laughs> huh? Crunchy, delicious Strudel? Strudel? Get your heart, Strudel! <gasps> gotcha. Huh? We're well into injury time. Will Big Bo prevail? Or will the ghost train ride him down? I have to lure Spike out into the open, or I'm done for. But how? Ah, my beautiful trophy. Positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on. Big Bo's taking the gloves off, literally. He's really bought into the whole showmanship thing. Big Bo will pay for his disrespect. <laughs> Seem to be fighting over Big Bo's gloves. Hey, 
Isn't that Spike Dawson? Gotcha. What? Big Bo was telling the truth. All agents move in. Get Spike Dawson. You did it! Oh, thanks, guys. This soccer mystery of the century and all the strudel you can eat, and I missed them both. Luckily, Big Bo catches everything. Yeah, man. You really weren't kidding when you said you had all the angles covered. How did he fit in there? Strudel grease. Ew. Hey, isn't that the same stuff they found on Grimm's bus and on the Tectonomicon? Great work, Junior. You've earned these. <laughs> Protocol, Greenhorn. A Super League agent never smiles. But we'll allow it this one time, Agent 3. 127. Spike Dawson! What have I told you about playing in the garbage? <sighs> Sorry, Mother. Well, come on, then. Let's go home. He's through the Nakama midfield, last chance before full time. He's through the Nakama midfield, last chance before full time. Shakes, aren't you bored of that game yet? Yeah, you clock it like every time you play. I don't know why you play that thing at all, brother. Why would you want to play fake football when you're going to jam the real thing against Nakama tomorrow? <laughs> Super League 3000X is just like real soccer, Cool Joe. Sorry, Shakes. Games just don't impress me. The ball gets away from him. Missed opportunity. <laughs> It is kind of dated, but apparently the new version is going to be so good. Amazing graphics and super realistic sound effects. <gasps> oh, yeah. And the world's best players. Coming soon. Super League 4000X. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, Big XP feeling totally nerfed right now. <laughs> I'm Alex. I'm gonna motion capture your moves for SL4000X. Hi, Alex. I'm Shakes. Uber, cool. You want Um, it's Shakes, not Uber. Uh, Uber's from Iron Tank. Uh, it's an expression. Ah, uh, saws. Uh, uh, I mean, sorry. Sometimes I forget how people speak out there. You ready for the grand tour? Huh? <laughs> Yo, 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 it's Uncool Joe. Phew, is that a funny smell or is it just a ping pong? Table tennis to you, sucker. Uh, so I'm guessing you know each other? Hey guys, meet Chill John, world's number one ping pong player. Table tennis? Everything he knows about, well, everything really, he borrowed from yours truly. Police! I'm past those beginner techniques, sucker. I am the new king of spin. Your style is still cool, Joe. Your spin is thin. Huh. <clears throat> Tour starting. You guys coming? First up, it's the coders. Super intelligent brainiacs who build the games. The testers basically play games and eat chocolate the whole day. <laughs> cool. Where do I sign up? Here we have the sound studio. Real Super League players and coaches are contributing their voices to SL4000X. Yeah, good call. The sound effects in 3000 kind of sucked. Game over. You lose. <laughs> Game over. You lose. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. We're, we're getting there. Can you make it feel more summery, more sunny? What? This isn't the weather report. Don't worry. We're almost there. Take 346. Go. Uh, I give up. And finally, where the real magic happens. 
Super Strikers? The Motion Capture Studio is where we capture every detail of your moves. Every detail, hey? <laughs> yes! Yes! Genius! Fantastic! Do it again, but into the microphone this time, yeah? <sighs> Welcome to the Motion Capture Studio. The position and movement of the sensors on your suits are recorded by special cameras, and the data is input into this computer. All right. I read. <laughs> oh, please, Alex. Don't be motion capturing this, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. The only thing I want to capture is all the classic Super Strikers moves. times I gotta tell you guys, video games just ain't my thing. But the game won't be the same without the four pillars of spin. I don't know, brother. <sighs> Come on. All right, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? I, uh, um... It's not Cosplay Friday, is it? No. Oh, I feel like such a fool. Don't. You're rocking that look. Great costume. Uh, thanks. Hey, why don't we swap? Really? Really. Like, really, really? Really, really. Like, really! Get ready for the four pillars of spin. Left spin. Right spin. Back spin. How does he spin the ball like that? Unbelievable. Can't wait to see this stuff in gameplay. Top spin. I got this one. I got this one. Uh, OK, you can have this one. <laughs> Thanks, sister. And how do you guys know where the ball's gonna go? Practice makes perfect. Uh, more like practice and practice and practice makes perfect. SL4000X is gonna rock! You guys have been so much help! Yes. You've been so much help, Super Stikers. And there you have it, Cool Joe's four pillars of spin. Know them, spot them, intercept them. It will always be one of four. This is going to make Super Striker's head spin. <laughs> huh? Now I get the laugh right. It's Nakama versus Super Strikers, live from Gashuko Stadium. These two famous rivals are equally matched. But if one player can make the difference, it's Cool Joe. The Crossing King! There's the cross. Shakes and El Matador are there. Can one of them get a touch? What? Ooh, well read by Miko Chen. <laughs> Looks like Cool Joe just needs to kick to me next time. Yes? Hmm. Oh, Nakama are at their most dangerous. 
on the counterattack. Super Slaker's tied to the group. But it's no use. Oh! Nakama take the first game. Seems the Crossing King has been dethroned. You lose, Super Strikers. <laughs> game over. You lose. <laughs> Uh, Cool Joe? What? I think I know why Nakama can read your four spins. Oh, really? How? Urigiri was at the mocap studio yesterday. <laughs> Rewind there, brother. Urigiri was where? I'm sorry. I think he saw your moves. What did I tell you? All that digital juju, no emotion capture wireless <laughs> is no good, brother. Hey! Cool Joe, hey, you need to think about what happens to my ego when I'm not scoring goals, man. And don't be so selfish, okay? Thanks for coming by. We're totally gonna get our revenge in the return match. How, Shakes? Urigiri saw all my moves. The four pillars of spin ain't secret anymore. Hey, look on the bright side, Cool Joe. It can't get any worse. <clears throat> yo, 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 yo. Don't worry. I already signed this one for ya. Paddle power? I saw Nakama shut you down, Cool Joe. Told you I'm the new king of spin. But don't worry. Maybe you can learn a thing or two from my game. I got speed you can't even imagine. Ah! You like game shakes? Why not play ping pong till the new Super League game comes out? Table tennis, fool! Spin you can't even imagine, huh? Your spin is thin. Level 10, sucker. Not bad. Level 24. Are you the next speed master? Level 36. You got some moves. I knew I could do it. Oh. I gotta find Jill John. Oh, come on, Shakes. At least wash your hands. Thanks for the help, Alex. It's the least I can do after my noob mistake with a mocap. This is the place. But I don't know how we're gonna get in, especially considering you're friends with Cool Joe. Undercover, of course. Don't want to give the game away. Uh, didn't we already do that? about the corkscrew. Seriously, Cool Joe, there is a fifth spin, and I know how you can learn it. Please, Shakes, I've already learned my lesson. Why would I take your advice ever again? Listen to him, Cool Joe. Yeah, come on, we need you out there. Or I might not score any goals. Whatever, 
All Shakes has done the last few days is play Paddle Power. Yeah, that's kinda how I found out about the fifth spin. Video games, table tennis, Chill John. These are a few of my least favorite things. The fifth spin exists. I developed it. Hm. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh. Huh. To help you learn the corkscrew extra fast, we're gonna mocap it and analyze it. Just like Uragiri did with your moves. I guess if video games got us into this mess, video games can get us out. Uh, there's one other thing. Just like in Paddle Power, the corkscrew has to be unlocked. Really? I want to prove once and for all who's the best spinner of them all. Like I said, I don't play the pawn. Table tennis! I need goals, Cool Joe. Do it for me. And the team also. All you have to do is get one point off him. That's day at Strikerland! Last week we saw these two teams aren't as evenly matched as they once were, Brenda. So, Coach has made a big change. Klaus is on the left wing, and Cool Joe is nowhere to be seen. Crosses make scoring easy. No, they don't. Okay, maybe they do a little. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure Cool Joe got that point by now. Uh. <sighs> yo, yo, guy plays like a total badger. Come on, you scoundrel. Let him beat you. Just one point. No way, El Matador. I want to win fair and square. Oh, this is not the time for honor, Cool Joe. Forget your pride. Abandon your principles, man. No way. I have to embrace my principles. I'm no gamer like Shakes. I can't play table tennis like Chill John. I'm a footballer. Rocky, Rocky Cool Joe. You can do it, Ma. You can do it. John, the number one spinner mm -hmm. is always the winner. Ha <laughs> <laughs> You oh, are a legend. Oh, yes. Oh, what a rally. Foot table tennis? Come on. Deal's a deal, brother. The second half is underway. Fantastic news for Super Strikers. Looks like Cool Joe's on the field and immediately into the action. Woohoo! Go Cool Joe! Even if Cool Joe can pull off the corkscrew, how do we know where it's gonna go? No practice and practice and practice, right? Yeah. And from what I've seen, the corkscrew has a mind of its own. What's the use, Cool Joe? We know all your spins. This is it. Fifth spin coming up. I hope. One of four. 
It's sailing into the danger area. But it's gone past everyone. Oh yeah! The number one spinner is always the winner! <sighs> I lose! Nice! Like dusk. We're keeping that one. <sighs> Oh, man, SL4000X is beyond awesome. Got you again, Urigiri. <sighs> I lose! <laughs> 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 Hey guys, yo, 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 yo. Aw, oh, Shakes, you still playing that old school SL4000X game? We're jamming our new hybrid Paddle Power versus Super League game. Spinner takes all. I just got it delivered from Alex. <laughs> Looks cool. Can I try? No way, man. I've only got to like level 41. In time, brother. In time. <laughs> to the final few minutes at the Cauldron. Super Strikers are throwing everyone forward. They're desperate to find the Equalizer. But Grimm's ghoulish defense is holding firm. If anyone can break through, it's El Matador. Super Strikers number 20 has done everything right today. Everything except score a goal, that is. Precision through ball from Dancing Rasta. Shakes draws the defense. It's an open goal. was so busy celebrating, he didn't bother to check if the pool went in. Oh, this is not going to be good for his confidence. It's over for me. Goodbye forever, soccer. Suck it up, bro. We all have a bad game now and then. Ah, you guys don't get it. I'm not special anymore. I'm just a regular player. Like the rest of you. Mm -hmm. uh, read some fan mail, dude. That'll cheer you up. Okay, man. I'll get onto that pronto. We'll see you at training, right? Yeah, yeah. See you there. De Los Santos. How confident are you feeling ahead of Azul's trip to Strikerland? Stopping Super Striker's attack is always a challenge, Lena. But I am feeling up to the job. <laughs> <laughs> ah, show off. Well, he does have the stats to back the confidence. That's why we'll be playing with three Strikers. Shakes, Klaus, and... Uh... Where is El Mando? Yeah, where this is, is he? I haven't seen him. He had better have a good reason. Hello, you've reached El Matador. I will be unavailable forever. Oh, hey, man. Still this? Don't leave a message, and I won't get back to you. Goodbye. Still down about that miss, eh? Yep, moping at home. Huh. Well, there goes our three striker strategy, brothers. Hmm. Shakes, Klaus, come with me. I have a plan. El Matador's confidence has taken a major hit. I'm counting on you to get his mind right before the Azul game. I don't know, Coach. It's gonna take something big to get through to him. Whoa! Oh, oh. Welcome to our football technology vault. I always wondered where you kept this stuff, Coach. So, we put on the robo suit, grab El Matador, and bring him back, right? <laughs> Not quite. Activate Narcissus Protocol. I 
I had a state-of-the-art device created especially for this kind of situation. Ooh, what does it do? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Just find El Matador, press the button, and the device will do the rest. And I thought my place was untidy. Hmm. <gasps> hmm? Dear El Matador the Great, forget what everyone else says, that miss wasn't your fault. It was obviously a bad pass from Shakes. Hmm. Come join your real fans. We believe in you no matter what. He wouldn't have. He, he, he couldn't have. His hair dryer isn't here. He never goes anywhere without it. Oh, he did. I don't know, Coach. He's somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The Dory will get him back. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this baby does. Forget about the device, Klaus. We need to focus on getting El Matador back in time for the game. Hmm. It could be a fold-up helicopter. <gasps> Or a hypnosis device. <gasps> Maybe it's a teleporter. A flux capacitor? A spaceship for ants? The world's smallest spotlight? A robotic homing pigeon? A Rubik's sphere? A gravity disruptor? VR projector? A trans-dimensional day spa? A silver snitch? A bright destroy? A pokeball? Portable universe? Alien egg? Self-aware magic eight ball? <gasps> I have to know! Must find out what it does. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> ah. <gasps> Too close. Shakes is right. I have to focus on getting El Matador back in time. Back in time. Klaus, we're here. Hmm? Gah, where did he go? <laughs> well, this is definitely the place. There's something fishy going on in there, Junior. Um, I'm looking for a friend. Uh, glasses, ponytail... There are many on board, but only one. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Watch out, Junior. Everyone in there is crazy. Last stop. Everybody off. Ugh. Get El Matador back in time. <gasps> the question isn't where am I, but when am I? Of course, a time machine. to find El Matador, but this is ridiculous. What? Okay, Shakes, activate the device and get El Matador out of here. Easy as... Klaus? Mm. Do not be alarmed by my strange clothes and futuristic haircut. I am a time traveler. Oh, great. Another crazy. 
I don't see anyone else here. First the ponytail guy, then the cheeky one with the spiky hair. The ponytail guy? Yes, the perfect place to get away from yourself, the past. Very clever, El Matador. Uh, where or when did the ponytail guy go? Rejoice! Our king is here! Feel the duty! Feel the duty! <laughs> Almost. It's feel the beauty! Duty! Beauty! Duty? Eh, close enough. See? We are your best fans! Huh? The shame! Ooh. Look! <gasps> he mocks the great one with this incorrect jersey number! What? This the only one in the shop. Mm. Come on, people. <gasps> Feel the duty? He's not worthy of the mighty El Matador. No. No. The team. No. 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 Fine. I didn't even want to be part of your stupid club anyway. Sheesh. Those people won't let me anywhere near El Matador. <sighs> Our king is bored and demands entertainment. Who will step up for the skills battle? Winner will be given one-on-one -on -one face time with El Matador himself! Yeah. Oh. Gotcha. My shirt! My glasses! My pants! My dignity! <laughs> do any others challenge for an audience with the king? I do. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> there is only one explanation for this. All the El Matadors from every point in time have gathered here. <sighs> but I need the real El Matador. Good luck, challengers! This guy knows he's tough. <laughs> he's not one of us. Shakes, what are you doing here? You have to come back to strike a land, El Matador. We need three strikers to get past De Los Santos. Uh, I'm sorry, Shakes. My place is here now. My people need me. But Super Strikers are your people. Unworthy! Off the team! <laughs> El Matador, come on! Please! El Matador! I'm sorry, my friend, but this is best. For me and for Super Strikers. This one is big trouble. I don't want him coming back. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Let me... <sighs> Thank goodness. Where did you go? I think you mean when did I go? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, it's obvious that El Matador is hiding in the past. That's why Coach gave us the time machine. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, really? Well, what's your big theory then, Shakes? El Matador started a weird fan club consisting entirely of El Matador lookalikes and plans to rule them like a king. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Look, man, who they are or when they are isn't important. What matters is that we get El Matador back. Well, what are we waiting for? Or Raza? Don't say it, dude. When are we waiting for? Oh. All right, people, one more time. From the top, feel the beauty. Feel the beauty. Uh, I give up. Hey. El Matador! Oh, feel the duty? 
We are here to take our El Matador back to the present in the future. Or is that back to the future, which was the present? Huh? Get them! Let's find out what this thing really does. If you're watching this, you're in trouble. We all feel lost from time to time. Perhaps you have lost the keys to your Lamborghini. You might have lost your socks. It's in not a time machine? That <laughs> Brilliant! The Maybe only person El Matador listens to is himself, so Coach made an El Matador hologram to convince him to come back. Then it seems to be working on all of them. Or you're lost contemplating your own beauty. Perhaps you are lost in time, lost in space, and me. But remember, you are the greatest player of the age. Super Strikers need you because, like a Lamborghini, without the key, they just aren't as good. Come on. Come on. I don't want to, 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 I don't want to. Oh, crazies! You need to fulfill your destiny at Strike Alive. Help me, El Matador. I am my only hope. You heard the glorious ponytailed leader? Super Strikers need us! Yeah! 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 Striker Man! Striker Man! Yeah! Hmm. You may have got me back to Striker Land, but I'm not playing. Hmm. hmm. You did use the hologram, right? It should have worked. We used it all right. Just not how you intended. What are you talking about? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you? The Azul fans are looking confident today, folks. Well, I would too if I had the mighty De Los Santos in goal. Odd, though, that Coach has opted to keep El Matador on the bench. Yeah, tough to see Super Strike is getting past Azul's keeper without it. Chance for Super Strikers. What a shot! But not enough to beat De Los Santos. Fun warm up. <laughs> when are we gonna start playing for real? Shakes and Klaus are giving it their all. But it's not enough! De Los Santos is just too good. I have an idea. It's an oldie, but a goodie. We're almost at the end of the first half. Can Shakes and Klaus finally get past De Los Santos? Shakes hits the post! And the ball goes straight to Klaus! Oh! Huh? Come on, Shakes. You beat me with that trick before. It's going to take much more than that to beat me again. Oh. Hate to say it, Coach, but this isn't working. Yeah, we need three strikers out there. We need El Mar Don't even say his name. I don't want to see any more of that guy. Yeah, we may have accidentally played the hologram message to a bunch of crazy El Matador fans. <gasps> That's it. I'm calling security. Coach, hang on a minute. I think there's a way we can use this. People! I knew you'd come to get me. And that's not the only good news. Really? Yeah, we found your replacement. Ah! I always knew I had it in me to be the best El Matador ever. That's what you wanted, right? No, 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 Coach. These are just fans who adore Wonderful. me. Wonderful. With you on board, <laughs> De Los Santos has no chance. Hey, why don't we give him El Matador's locker? Uh, 
Oh, perfect! We even have the same number! Yeah, sounds yeah, good to me. Good, Unless you mind, El Matador. No, not at all. Oh, in that case, we can give him your hair dryer too, right? He is the one on the pitch, man. His hair needs to look better than yours. Oh. That's it! There are plenty of people who look like me, but there is only one El Matador. Prove it. Huh? I'll put you on, but if you don't produce the goods, I'm going to replace you with the El Matador who really wants to be here today. Me, 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 me. Come on, my people. Let's go and beat the Azul. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> yeah. Halftime substitution for the Super Strikers. Coach brings on El Matador. We're well into the second half. Scores are tight, and Super Strikers are on the attack again. But this time, they've unleashed their full firepower. Brilliant build-up play. But it doesn't count for a thing if they can't get it past De Los Santos. Klaus shoots. De Los Santos saves. She latches onto the rebound. De Los Santos saves again. But, but here, here comes El Matador. Oh, oh, what a completely unorthodox move from El Matador. And he's back. Feel the beauty. <laughs> El Matador really is one of a kind. Uh, someone needs to tell them. Yes, yes. Come on, come on, huh? Oh, forget it! I'll get my fish from the supermarket. Say, Mon Mon. It's me, Shakes. You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blargal, blargal. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, brilliant. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson. My television glasses. The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can load any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about the skunk, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself.
Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Ugh. <laughs> Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no, they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Ah! Oh. I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. You a skunk! I'm getting out of here! The skunk! Mm. Oh. It stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... Drap! Hmm, my glasses feel kinda weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up Hello? our defensive response. Tony? We'll expecting tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even let Super Strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technicali have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. Huh. And we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? <gasps> El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We gotta be prepared for Technicali. Yeah, who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to. Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. I got it! <laughs> no, you don't! Oh. What should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Ah, go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson, <gasps> Jr.? What are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. A matador! I was wide open! Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy! Right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? Mm -hmm. <gasps> According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys?
Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, his gunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails were not a fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I, I, uh... Fine. I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. That went well. I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. <gasps> John J. Johnson Jr. Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself. No matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh, the 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. OK, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama! El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm-mm. Drama, check. What else? Action! Mm -hmm. <laughs> what ninjas? What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. Shakes, help! El Matador? Oh, sorry. This isn't over, El Matador. Your ponytail will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. The game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I gonna do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude. We have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable, gold getting strike partner. I'll be fine. Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in red hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude. What happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys! Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off! <laughs> Cheeky shapes! And highly effective! <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here! He's clean through! Huh? 
Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare. Shakes, come back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! I was wide open to you. Yeah, I know. Oh. Ooh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Oh. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Marigo wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! To Ooh. Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now, listen. El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back. Defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? What? Whoa! Uh, hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shanks. Uh, I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Verne swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Verne sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touch my glasses. You gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> 
Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Tech Division is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? Nobody touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. <laughs> Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. Oh, what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. You think you're going to be able to handle this, Shakes? Yeah. I've been working on a killer new move. The only thing you're going to hear from the Sultans fans is, No! How does Shakes do it? Ah! And what about you, Spenza? It's going to be difficult to chant louder than them. Ha! You're talking to a super fan, son. We're the loudest in the business. Ooh! Nico's 
in a promising position. Wow! The Sheik wants the whole fans to make even more noise. That's even possible! We've got a lot of work to do. Miko, what happened out there, dude? We were ready, prepared, but that sound. Come on, brother. You've played plenty of mega stadiums before. You cannot understand it until you are out there. Hmm. I've never seen Miko that spooked by, well, anything. That's why we're doing extra preparation to handle the Sultan's fans. Prof? You may be used to lifting uh, dumbbells, but today you will have to contend with decibels. What? Exactly. Decibels and watts are both ways to measure loudness. The first challenge when playing in front of a noisy crowd is communication. I've developed a series of, uh, hand gestures to use on the pitch. Learn them all. Sure thing. Or rather... Your budgie has toothache? Uh, perhaps I need a little more time to learn them. All right, super fans. Our mission... The Goliath. 200 restaurants, 130 shops, movie theaters, arcades, ice rink, petting zoo. I can't promise all of you will make Spencer! it loud. Super friend! <laughs> uh, just getting the crew G'd up for the Sultan's game. Let's focus on out singing the Sultan's fans, not out shopping them, yeah? <laughs> All right, guys. I've got some awesome new chants to try out. But first, warm ups. One, two, three! <gasps> okay, boys. You've learned the hand signals. Some of you have learned the hand signals. The second challenge when playing in front of a massive crowd is how you handle the noise. Come on, coach. The fans don't make that much difference. Pros like us have perfect concentration. What are we talking about again? According to my calculations, this should be... A perfect simulation of the Goliath! His new move. Is a hostile environment like the Goliath really the best place to try a new technique? Let's find out. What was that? We didn't even wake up Sandra. Again! And this time, make it count. Strikers, welcome to the Goliath. I have no doubt it will overwhelm you with its facilities. Food, clothes, accessories, cinemas, an ice rink, a petting zoo. Goliath has everything you could possibly want. And you, as my guests, 
can access it all with your very own personal GoPass. Whoa, thanks, Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Very kind of you, Shake. But the only thing we have time for right now is football. You taught him the hand gestures? The stadium is full of spiders? We gotta get out of here! Never mind. So, what do you think of the Goliath? Dude! I wanna live here! So many awesome things to check out! Well, this all-access Go Pass might help. <gasps> I will only use this mighty tool for the power of good. And maybe some snacks. It's go time! <laughs> at Goliath Stadium. And I have to say, Super Strikers are looking cool as ice. Say it! You have to shout it in this stadium! All right, guys, let's show these Sultans fans how it's done. One, two, three! Super Strikers rule the pitch and we control the stands. Goliath cheers for had a chance against the Super Bands! <laughs> Where are you? Ah, oh, go pass. How I love thee. Oh, man, I gotta get field side. But I'm not gonna last 90 minutes. It's go time. Super Strikers look to assert themselves early on. And so do their fans. You might as well admit defeat the balls and dance and crash the skin. He's making shapes. And when he shoots, I don't know what happened. I had that move down. Playing in front of all these fans is totally different to training. Maybe keep it simple next time, Shake Smart. Yeah, give the ball to the player with the perfect... Uh, concentration? That's the stuff. Ah, much better. <gasps> but I'm so late. Friends gonna be mad? Shortcut! <laughs> Go time! Huh? Hey, I thought this thing was all access! The home support blunted Super Striker's attack! Now, can they help Sultans take the lead? <laughs> Not if North Shaw can help it. Go to the south or the east or the west, but if you head north, you'll be dispossessed. Wow, the Super Strikers fans are really doing their part. But they're nothing compared to this whole crowd. That's like Sultans have a 12th player on the pitch.
What are you doing here? What indeed? This area is off limits to to everyone. Everyone. Uh, go pass. <laughs> and don't come back ever. <laughs> wow, pretty decisive first half, eh, Brenda? Yep. The team with the most fans wins. Miko was right. You really don't know what it's like till you're out there. I don't know, guys. There's something weird about that noise. That sounded like a million people, not 150,000. Yeah, uh, where are they hiding, Shakes? The ice rink or oh, the petting zoo? Go passes. Uh, don't actually have mine on me. The Go Pass is the only way to access restricted areas. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Oh, man! Spencer! Uh -oh. Half time? Where were you? Uh, not sure exactly. This place is big. Endless corridors. Bottomless sodas. I'm sorry. I haven't been much of a super fan. But I promise to give 120% in the second half. Huh? Shades? There's old yogurt in my tog bag. Go fetch the itching powder. You say potato, I say potato. I've got it. Something weird's going on here. Use the go-pass to investigate! Come on, friend! It's go time! Spenza, stop! What about your promise? Super Strikers need us now more than ever! Friend, being a super fan isn't just about what's in here. Or here. It's about what's going on in there! Okay, fine, Spenza P.I. Let's investigate. Hmm, but we need a way to get past those grouchy scientist peeps. Go time! Do something! This isn't working! Uh, uh, and it was then that I realized E must equal MC squared. Yeah! Happens to me all the time. Rebooting machine for second half. Power okay. Amplifiers warming up. fans weren't enough, so the Sheik added a few million decibels right underneath the pitch? <laughs> no wonder Super Strikers can't handle the noise. We gotta shut this thing down somehow. And I think I know how. You mean? It's go time. Game's about to restart. Let's see if Super Strikers can make more of an impression in the second half. Uh, unlikely, Mac. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse for the men in red, their fans desert them. Shakes, what did you say to Spenza? Whatever it was, I don't think he understood the hand signals. No ghouls and no fans. Can things get any worse for Super Strikers? There's the signal. That's a go, people. Super fans. Let's do this. <laughs> Perhaps all Super League teams should build 
themselves a bigger stadium, Mac. Hey, scientist peeps! You can't be in here! This area is off limits! We're not going anywhere till we shut down that machine! Yeah! <laughs> Our decibel generator is made from titanium alloy. Titanium? It's practically indestructible. Practically. But we already know it's one weakness. Every machine's weakness. <gasps> Super fans! One, two, three! The Sultan's chanting, it just disappeared. I know, what happened? They did. Even I know that hand signal. Come on guys, let's win this for the fans. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Now, how about the classic? Count us in, Spens. One, two, three, four. Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Remember, Six, content! Ah, oh, never mind, just scored the goal! Super Striker! Super Striker! Hard luck, Shay. Yeah, I heard you had a sound strategy. Pity it fizzed out. <clears throat> <sighs> Thanks. And I have something for you, Shakes. Uh, what's this? Your go pass bill. Okay, the bus is leaving. Gotta go. What? Who buys a hundred and thirty sodas? The Lion Chisels have a chance against the Super Fans! Yeah! <laughs> Sir? Sir? You can't park here! Why not? Is this not a reasonable place to park? Reasonable? You're parked on the lawn! <laughs> Sorry, I can't be late for my big moment. Well, folks, we've had plenty of worthy winners, but now it's time for the number one prize, the big fish, the crown jewel, the golden boot. Ah, I'm just in time for my award. Nice of you to join us, El Matador. Yeah, only two hours late. Award ceremonies are so boring. Yep, keep telling yourself that, Shakes. It'll make it easier for you when I win the golden boot. And the, and the nominees, nominees are... Oh, here's my moment. Rihanna from, from Barca, Barca FC. FC. El, El Matador from, from Super Strikers. Strikers. <laughs> Scar from, from Invincible United. United. And Shakes from Super Strikers. And the winner is... And the winner... Yes, I'm the greatest. Dude, you 
didn't win. What? Huh? Well done, my friend. But I'm not gonna make it this easy for you next year. <laughs> Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Once again, your team carries you to the trophy. Well, maybe you should try to pass to your team once in a while. It really helps win those trophies. Please, look at him. If it was just you versus me, I'd win every time. Pity there isn't the biggest cheat award, because then you would win every time. Wow, guys. guys. First, First Super Strike has won the league last, last season, season, and now this? this. I couldn't have done it without my team. You hear that? I, he couldn't have done it without me. Well, well anyway, anyway thanks, thanks, everyone. everyone. Looking forward to an even bigger challenge next season. <laughs> Why wait till next season, Shakes? Mr. Shakes, what's this? Dear Shakes, Miss Altibo invites you to her private island for a soccer challenge like no other. Ah, oh, come on! You get the golden boot and the fancy golden letter? No fair. Mr. Matador. Now that's more like it. Dear El Matador, your car has been towed. Huh? Ah! You really thinking of going to that island, Shakes, ma? Well... It would be nice to do something different. But you're going to miss out on the end-of-season barbecue at Dancing Rasta's house. Relaxing in the sun. Listening to groovy tunes. And chowing down as much delicious grub as we can fit in our bellies. It is important to take a break, Ma. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's that, Skara? Payback. Hey, Shortly. Welcome to Altibo's Island. Whoa. Hi, Shakes. Ah! El Matador, what are you doing here? Eh, my invite must have got lost in the post. <laughs> Very funny, Shakes. <laughs> Shakes? Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey what's, what's, what's hey, happening, man? dude? Well, well, well. It's Mr. Golden Boot himself. I see you're about your babysitter shakes. <laughs> ha! The only thing I sit on is chairs. And sometimes the ground when there are no chairs available. So what's this all about? I don't know. Haven't seen anyone since we got here. Huh. Probably trying to sell us timeshare. Gentlemen. Huh? I'm offering something much more exciting than that. The challenge of a lifetime. An idyllic tropical island converted into the ultimate testing ground for the ultimate footballers. Dribbling, balance, stamina. This is your chance to test your skills against your greatest opponents. Then, the last two standing will face off in the ultimate soccer showdown. And why should we play in your little tournament? Yeah, what's in it for us? A chance to find out which of you is truly the greatest player of your generation. But, if any of you aren't feeling up to the challenge, my planes are available to take you home. Yeah, why don't you losers go home and have a skinny frappa dappuccino? I'll stay here and win. Not a chance, Skara. Oh, you gotta stay, Shakes. I'm gonna show everyone why I should have won the golden boot. All right, let's do this. I'm so sorry, El Matador. My tournament is for award winners only. Cruel fate! Why do you hate me? Why don't you just go and relax in the VIP lounge? Hmm. <sighs> There's a complimentary gift bag. Gift bag, eh? It will be mine! For the rest of you, destiny awaits. Good luck. 
I'll see you at the finish line. <laughs> if you survive that long. <laughs> Ready for some good old holiday fun, eh, Shakes? Yeah, just wish I brought my swimming trunks. Ah, it's good to take a break from football, man. So, here's the game plan. No chop, watch the rear. Rump is sizzling, Captain. Cool Joe, keep working them wings. Got you, brother. Twisting Tiger, make some space to the center. Ah! Already on it. El Matador, you... El Matador? Where's El Matador? Probably running late. Again. Uh, guys, you got to see this. This is the biggest TV I have ever seen in my whole life. It's a beautiful day, Klausmann. Why don't you come outside? But the television has 3D. Um, outside is 3D. Yeah, but does outside have a built-in built karaoke, karaoke function? function? La, la. Run for your lives, brothers. <laughs> la. Do not trip or slip or fumble when you rumble in the jungle. Oh, out the way, puny man child. Super strikers may have finished top of the log, but you know nothing of jungle combat. This pathetic island is like under 13 training at Iron Tank. Ah! Whoa. Intense, bros. Yeah, looks dangerous. <laughs> Race you. Top of the log. Yeah, we get it. No, the log. Ah! Ah, come on. No golden boot, no golden ticket, and now I can't even find the VIP lounge. This sucks. Station one. Almost through the rumble in the jungle. Excellent. Station two. The pillar thriller is uh, ready for action. Eh, uh, those challenges are nothing compared to finding the VIP lounge. More like very impossible to find lounge. Scara, you jerk! Why did you take out Laquito? Yeah. yeah, most dishonorable. You losers can hold hands and sing Kumbaya, but I'm here to win. Uh, guys, we've got a problem. A big problem. Keep the ball up on the pillar thriller, and try not to fall. The drop's quite a killer. Huh? Did you guys hear that? Hear what? Exactly. That's a long way down. Hey! Over here! You ready to join the team? Just pass it! Chuck, don't! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've been over this. I'm a bad, bad boy. Now, which one of you losers should I take out next? Bingo.
Ah, Skara. Sad to see you eliminated. Our audience was loving your rivalry with Shakes. Audience? What audience? <laughs> You were on my brand new reality show. Standing by. Soccer Island. Pillar Thriller. Scara fails, Shakes prevails. There are four superstars left, but only two will make it to the Volcano Showdown, and only one will be crowned the King of Soccer Island. This whole thing is fake? I prefer the term scripted reality. Now, why don't you catch the rest of the show in the VIP lounge? And watch Shakes win? Yeah, right. I've had enough of Loser Island. Dudes, that looks so good. Oh, yum. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Not so fast. Just a few more minutes, man. I want this meat cooked to perfection. Guys, you gotta come see this. Hey, Klaus. How many times we gotta tell you? We're not gonna listen to you sing karaoke. No, you guys really gotta come see this. <sighs> Shakes is on TV. His big secret elite tournament is a celebrity reality show. <sighs> reality TV is so lame. It's all fake, you know? Totally scripted. Come on, guys. <laughs> the barbecue waits for no one. Yeah! yeah! Who is in hot enough form to make it to the Volcano Inflamo? An epic final showdown above scorching lava. Could watch for a few minutes. <laughs> is this the VIP lounge? Pouches seem comfy. Not sure about the weird decor, though. But no gift bag. Huh? Please, oh please. Uh, I'll never find the VIP lounge. Why are you even bothering? They won't let you in. You didn't win an award. Uh, yeah, except for the Super League trophy. Heard of that one? Whatever. Huh? What do we have here? Time to give you losers a dose of real reality. this party. Saltivo, we found the source of the interference. Auxiliary control room three. Scara. I'll call security. No, I have a better idea. If there's one thing the audience loves more than a hero, it's a bad, bad villain. Volcano soccer, here we come. You know I'm not going easy on you, my friend. Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Shakes and Riano head for the final challenge, but they don't know that an evil force is at work. What? Scara? Dude! Told you it's all fake. Why would Scara be in the control room? If I can't win, no one will. <laughs> Some holiday this turned out to be, hey, Shakes? Don't worry. I got you, dude. I don't think so, my friend. Looks like I let you off easy again. No! Come on, Shakes! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. I guess this means Shakes has won it! All right, I'll admit it. This is kind of cool. For reality TV. Kind of cool? That's the most insane thing I've ever seen! Wow, it's like I can actually smell the smoke from the volcano. Oh, no, man! The barbecue! 
Okay, are we done here, Altivo? Riano's out. I'm the only one left. Huh? The game's changed, Shakes. Ah! No! Come on! How did you get back into the tournament? Oh, wait. Let me guess. You cheated. Boo-hoo! Pity there's no ref for you to winch to, no teammates to carry you, and no Super League rules to hide behind. Now we'll see who's really the best. He's a natural. Audience is waiting. Let's get the ball rolling. Shall we? <laughs> you lose, Shakes. No matter how many trophies you win, you'll always know that one on one, I'm the king. Huh? Rocket! Uh, oh, brother. I can't look. Uh, 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 now the whole world's gonna see who deserves the golden boot. What are you talking about? Cheer, slow. None of this is real. You're on reality TV shakes. But not for much longer. <gasps> huh? Uh -huh. <gasps> what? Uh, shakes! If we're on TV, your ratings are about to take a dive. Huh? No! Still no VIP room? I just can't win. Wins. How did he get up there? I don't know, Miss Altivo. He's supposed to be in the VIP room. They fought through the jungle, balanced above the abyss, held their nerve in the murky depths, and battled it out above a fiery volcano. But only one player had the skill, bravery, and stamina to become the first ever champion of Soccer Island. <laughs> I always knew I had it in me. <laughs> What is Soccer Island? All that planning, all that hard work. You can't control everything, Miss Altivo. It is reality TV. You're fired! You idiot! You let him win? He's not even supposed to be here! Why don't you complain to the ref? All right, there isn't one. Shakes, dude. Shakes, dude. I'm glad you're all right, man. Me too, my friend. So, what do you think of Soccer Island? Well, it's not every day I get to play on top of a volcano. Duh. You people make me want to puke. I'm going to the VIP lounge. This is a great honor. Now, where's my gift bag? But he didn't even have a golden ticket. What did I say? Fake. Maybe it's meant to be a twist ending? Yeah, the twist is we just wasted our afternoon. At least we still have the delicious food. Huh? No! 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 Reality TV sucks! Told you! Totally sucks, dudes! 